Ra Ra Rasputin. <laughs> ra. Uh, I'm trying to remember how that song goes because it's a really good song. Ra Ra, ra Rasputin. Rasputin. Russia's greatest love machine. He that was a cat, cat who was really could dance. Something I don't know. I can't. Ra Ra Rasputin Russia's greatest. You know, I saw a mashup of that song with General Grievous from the animated series, and it was really <laughs> awesome. General Grievous. Yeah, because I mean, you know. The movies didn't do a really good job of showing how agile he is, but the animated series did. Mm -hmm. And it, it's awesome because you see him, like, on his... Like, you see him, like, using lightsabers with his feet. And he's doing, like, a handstand while he does it. And he, like, cool. uses his feet also in combat in the animated series. And it's like, that's really, that's really dope. I kind of wish they did that in the movies. But... Thinking about it, it's like, you know what the budget would be like if they had to animate that much? That would be a lot of animation. It would be. Also, uh, boss time. Boss time. Yeah, remember, remember that snake? The one that bit Richard? Yes. Well, guess, guess who's back? The Richard snake? The Richard snake, not the shark. We did kill the shark, but now it's the snake. Richard the snake? No, just, just, it's, uh, I, I think his name is Jan. I'm not 100% sure on that. The snake's name is Jan? I think that's like the, the, the nickname he's been given. Interesting. It's actually a pretty easy boss, to be honest, because all he does is he tries to chase you and bite you, and all you, all I do, my strat is just go behind the bookshelf, wait for him. Sometimes he comes one way, the other, other times he goes. Yeah, sometimes it just you, takes him a second. Do you know what the snake's favorite song is? No. Definitely neither. Uh, another thing, the first time you fight him, you can get poisoned. There's a cutscene that kind of um, shows this off. In the in this battle, he doesn't poison you. He just he just hurts you. His poison, his poison fang, in effect. Oh man, that that is a Pokemon move I'm not too familiar with, and mainly because he got introduced in in fifth gen, fourth gen. I I don't know, actually. I feel like it was one of those gens. But, I mean, that that's when I started getting a little more unfamiliar with Pokemon, because I was kind of less enthusiastic about it. Yeah, they, started, they started adding more Pokemon than I cared to learn. Pokemon Go added the fifth gen, and I'm like, who are any of these people? <laughs> you have fake Piplup. You have fake Piplup. I, I know that one pisses you off, because you really like Piplup. I don't like fake Piplup, I'll tell you that. Uh, Ashu... Ashuat? Stupid <laughs> Hey, I killed the snake. Did you kill the snack? I killed the snack. But yeah, um, you have, like, Ashuat. And Ashuat yeah. is a Pokemon. And I remember I picked that Pokemon when I played uh, Black and White. I picked Tepig. But that's the worst one. He's the best one. Uh, you know, because fair he's enough. The he's the least stupid looking out of all. No, three. he's not. Well, his final evolution is dumb. No. Yeah. Well, all, actually, all of them look really stupid. But... Okay. I, I, I can't argue with that. <laughs> actually, you know, the sad thing is... Th I'm sure there's, like, a group of people that, that started they're, they're with 5th getting... Gen and they hold those games really dearly, like... Anyone they're getting who's... really mad at me saying this right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're like, I really like that. I started with 5th Gen, and I really like the designs of all the Pokemon in 5th Gen, and it's like, you know... I'm sorry, they look like they were outsourced to somebody who likes Pokemon, but wanted to do their own original thing. Actually, they'd probably just call us a bunch of Gen, gen 1-ers. Okay, they can call me Gen 1 all they want. After Gen 1, Gen 4 is my favorite, so... Whatever. I have always been a fan of Gen 2, to be honest. 
Gen 2 is pretty good too, but I mean, Gen 4. Gen 4 was my jam, man. I gotta be honest, uh, and, you know, feel free to comment below what you think, because I'm all ears. But I've really been tempted to actually do uh, a playthrough of Pokemon for the channel. Do it. Uh, but the question is, it's like, they're, they're so common, like, everyone does a playthrough of Pokemon. And I mean, it's not like I would add anything to this series. Like, I might attempt a Nuzlocke, but I'd fail it so bad that I'd probably be like, screw it, it's just a Pokemon playthrough. Or, you, you know... Lock. I don't know, I just haven't really decided how I want to go about actually doing a playthrough of Pokemon if I was to do a playthrough of Pokemon. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, and also, if I did do one, it, it probably would be gold or silver. I don't have a modified DS, so I can't do heart, gold, and soul silver. Uh, I guess I could try to find some sort of emulator, but that is a bridge I'd have to cross then and not right now. He said the E word, guys. Well, I mean, how else are you going to do a DS game? Also, Hunters. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't have a, I don't have a... Well, this sucks. I had to... I, I like how you can reload your gun at the worst possible time. I'm going to reload the gun, y'all. Getting, getting attacked by Hunters. I know. Were, were, the, were these your brethren, Chaz? No, they were my sisters. Oh. What, what were their names? Katrina and Mor. Oh. Are, are, are you upset that I killed them? No. I hated them. <laughs> wow, that, that's, that's strong. That's some strong emotions you have towards them. You want to know my backstory with them? Uh, yeah, please. Um, alright, Katrina and Maurice. They were my sisters in uh, hunter training camp. Yeah, I mean, not, Maurice not, is kind of a kind of a weird name for a woman, but not not hey, judging. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep keep going. They're not really my sisters. They're, you know, like they're not blood sisters. They're like you know, like. Sisters and Hunter, dumb. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Like, you know how like a, you know how like army men call them. Yeah, the, it's brothers uh, and brothers. Arms. I got it. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, terminology. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, these two were like, ah, that Chaz Hunter. He's a terrible hunter. He'll never, he'll never amount to anything. Ah, Wah! and and they would always like throw stuff at me um, in hunting training camp and. Um, one time I was late, and I told them, please tell the commanding officer I'm going to be late because I, um, need to go to the, the, the infirmary and get my hunter vaccine. And they said, okay, we'll tell them. And they didn't tell them, so I had to clean the whole bathroom with just my tongue. That, so I hate them. That, I hate that them. sucks. I'm glad they're dead now. So, uh, what, what kind of what kind of hunters were was the commander? Because there's like multiple types of hunters. He was a um, the albino hunter. I don't know if that is a thing. Uh, I do know that a lot of them go by the Greek alphabet. He was a hunter gamma. Oh, I think that's actually the amphibian one. You know what kind of hunter I am? Uh, what's that? I'm a hunter Upsilon. Epsilon? No, Upsilon. Epsilon. Upsilon. Epsilon. Not Epsilon. That's the inferior one. Upsilon. No, Epsilon is like one of the strongest ones. Nope. I'm Upsilon. I don't think Upsilon is actually a letter used yet. There you go. I'm not in the game. <laughs> but Epsilon Hunters, if I remember correctly, they're they're pretty badass. At least I think they exist. I know there's Alphas, there's Betas. I don't remember if they're in 
Resident Evil 3 or another game. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 3 introduced Beta and Gamma Hunters. Um, Alpha... I'm pretty sure the ones we're fighting right now are the Alpha variety. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, I think Epsilon Hunters were in, like, Resident Evil Dead Aim? Hmm. Well, before I was an Epsilon Hunter, I was a, um... I was an Omnicron Hunter. Uh, th those don't exist. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but I think really there's, like, the only ones coming to mind, unless you want to look this up on, like, the wiki or something. Gamma, Delta. Uh, I, I know there's, like, uh, there's Alpha, Beta, Gamma, I think... I'm not sure if Delta is actually a symbol used. I'm pretty I'm sure there is Epsilon, though. I'm looking them up. And, I mean, like, there's other there's other names for hunters other than, like, letters in the Greek alphabet. There's a lot of there's, them. There's a lot of varieties. Uh, there's a Mew Hunter. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a Mew Hunter. Mew Hunter. Um, there's a... Um, I don't know if this one's not actually a Greek letter. It's just R. Yeah. There's an R Hunter, which is actually not a Greek no. I was gonna say I think there is a Greek letter that has R. a symbol that looks like R, but then I remembered I think it's just a capital R, the one that you're looking at. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. There's a Y Hunter. That's Gamma. Yeah, it's the Gamma Hunter. That that's uh. The Y symbol that you're looking at, it's like a funny Y that's a uh, gamma. Yeah. Oh. And then there's a uh, beta hunter. Mm hmm. Alpha, beta, gamma, um. Mu. I think that's mu, right? Maybe. I don't know. We have a diary, though. What's the diary? Is it Anne Frank's diary? No, it's it... uh, more Trevor's diary. Oh. Uh. It's handwritten and not dated oh yeah nothing's changed i never thought that this room i designed was an experiment or designed as an experiment would pay off like this i can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind the painting not even sir spencer painting of a of a mansion in the back of the art room i think we did that yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but I know we did the statue puzzle. And I'm pretty sure that only exists to hint you that... Um, hint, hint about that. But the thing is, we already, we already did that. Hmm. Unless there's something else I'm not, I haven't done yet, which it's possible. But I'm pretty sure we've tackled on all that. Yes. Also, uh, Zomble. Zomble. Uh, well, there is no Upsilon Hunter. Yeah, there is no Epsilon Hunter? Upsilon, or Ep neither of them, actually. Oh. I thought there was an Epsilon. You know what? Not important. Doesn't matter. Um, they are actually created with the Ebola virus. Not Ebola virus. That's what it says right here. It says, Dr. William Birkin's team spliced Alpha with genes from the Ebola virus. Oh. Fine. Guess I have to accept it. You are looking at the wiki. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I, I'm pretty sure, like, the Ebola virus has st stuff to do with the protagonator virus, which is... which it was used to make the T-virus... I don't know. It's confusing. There's a lot to it. I'm sure someone who actually is really into Resident Evil is just yelling and is like, No! This is how it works. To which I say, you know, feel free to comment below, dude. I I'd love to hear all the thoughts on how many inconsistencies and how incorrect I am. Oh, man. I asked for it, but you know no one's gonna do it. Um, everybody, you better do it. No, no, by all means, I mean, 
it is one of those things where it's like the problem is you ask for everybody to do it but i don't wish that kind of torture for everyone to do it because no no one needs to actually no one needs to actually look it up and then post in a comment I'm just asking if anybody knows offhand because they're like, you know, a, a fan of Resident Evil and they're like, no, it works like this. Then, no. you know, feel free to comment about it, but otherwise, you know, it is what it is. You don't have to do jack shit. Hell, if you just, if you just want to watch the video, you know, that's cool too. This is what you can do for me. You can watch the video and then close one eye and open one eye and do it and then, uh, reverse. That's all you have to do. Once. You know, it's weird. This is the second time I had to deal with an insignia puzzle. Again? Yeah. Well, I mean... No one knows about that. Oops. Did you know... Here, here's a fun fact about insignia puzzles. Um, one time I had to do an insignia puzzle in hunter training camp. And, um, one of my, one of my fellow hunters, one I got along with, alright, I guess, uh, Claude. He, um, he took the insignia, insignia puzzle pieces and threw it. He threw it? Yeah, he threw it far, and no one has found that puzzle. There's actually a reward for it, if you find it. How um, how much how how much is the reward? Well, it pro you probably wouldn't care because you're hunter. Well, I but, mean, um, I get that hunter, might be true. In hunter, for, like you get injected with this serum, and uh, you get it three times anytime you want, and the serum like makes you feel strong, so you can hunt better. Huh. Like you know the you know that you know the move that the hunters do to kill you instantly. Yeah, well your health has to be like fifty percent or less. Yeah, they 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 can only do that move if serum at least once. Huh. Well, let me tell you something. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I I solved the insignia puzzle. Oh great. Uh, I had to do that in Homecoming, and let me tell you, that was a pain in the butt. That one that I just did, though, that was actually not too bad. I like it. Also, Wesker well, repaired the doorknob. It was in that note that we read. Did you know that Albert, Albie Wesker, um, he's actually a skilled DIY person? You know what? I sort of, I sort of can see that. I feel like he's some kind of prod prodigy. He um, he built my deck. I, I find that hard to believe. Why? Because he's a fictional character that doesn't exist in real life. Well, I'm a hunter, which is also a fictional Rebecca. character. Oops. But you're talking to me now. I can mesh between worlds. Oh, that's right. Uh, we gotta find Rebecca. We do. She screams. Um... I say actually, no. that's not even why. Like, I find it hard for Wesker to actually build your deck. I, uh, something tells me Wesker, like, unless he's being paid a lot of money, he's not gonna do it. I gave him some of the hunter serum. <laughs> okay, now now it's believable. <laughs> I don't know. It's like unless something's in it for Wesker, I just don't see it happening. That or unless he owes you a favor. He doesn't. I owe him something now. Oh. Um, unfortunately, Wesker, when he was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I could not help him out with that game. They wouldn't let me in. <gasps> ah, there I am! That... There's my big screen debut. Oh no, but Chaz just got shot in the face. Twice. <laughs> I'm, I'm alive. Rebecca. Chris! You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck.
I like that little thumbs up. So you just killed me. I didn't mean to get you worried. Also, she, Rebecca didn't mean to get us worried. Actually, she did. So is is it like is it? So did you have like a a body double for taking no. those shots? No, I took those shots. You, you did all your own stunts. I did all my own stunts, just like Jackie Chan. So I take in certain Resident Evils, they disguise you as like a different hunter. Yep. Ah, okay, I got you. You're you're one of their star their star actors. I'm an extra. You're one of their star extra hunters. Now in Resident Evil Eight. Which doesn't exist yet. When it's coming out, I'm in it. Again. Oh man, and so you, a, so you're saying there's hunters in that game? I have a significantly different role. In that oh. Game. You have yet to see it. But, oh, okay. Um, the hunters, they start to evolve. Different hunters. Mm. That we've, we've been uh, under experiment. We're not hunters anymore. We look different. Mm. We look like we look at we look like nothing you've ever seen before. The saddest thing about everything you're saying is I can actually see it. We're evolving. And we're turning into Upsilon hunters. Upsilon Epsilon or Upsilon? Up Salon. Upsilon. Upsilon. Is, is it gonna be like there's an Upsilon virus? No. No, Upsilon is the second to last letter in the Greek alphabet, I think. Well, here's a question. Uh, don't don't the letters have, like, some kind of meaning to them? Yeah, we're actually one of the weakest hunters <laughs> out there. Let's see, like, did I alpha, get everything? Al no, I didn't. There's something still in this room. I know what it is. What is it? It's one of those shot glasses. It's an herb, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I bet it was this. It, it isn't. But it was. Here's another fun fact about that. During the filming of uh, Resident Evil. Yes, yes. During the filming was, of Resident Evil. I was, um, I was in that room for a minute. Where, where they were, were setting you, it up. Were you the plants on the shelf? No, no, I was just in it when they were planning it. I, I had, I, I wasn't. Re oh, you weren't, you weren't like the tree. No, I wasn't supposed to be there. I was just kind of observing. Oh, okay. The filming, anyway. Um. Yeah, they actually. I saw the man who put that grenade there. Oh. Uh, his name was uh Felix Sanderson. Felix Sanderson. Yeah, Felix Sanderson. Uh, not important. His name's. Anyway, Felix, he said, <laughs> oh, I think uh, I think the visual direction um, would look better if we put a grenade right here. And then the uh, director of the game, uh, Hideo Kojima, he told me, uh, he, he's uh, like, That's why? not right. <laughs> he said, why? why Hideo would you Kojima put a has nothing to do with Resident Evil. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That that, think... that is where that is where the uh, the immersion uh, is is separated. Uh, why do you think the newest Metal Gear game, Metal Gear Survive, has zombies? Um, but he had nothing to do with that game. He doesn't want you to know that he had nothing <laughs> because he was working with Capcom. That you think uh you think <laughs> who makes those games? Konami, you think Konami would be happy? Their main dude was with Capcom. Well, okay, first. Uh, That's why he doesn't work there anymore. They found no, out. No, it's fired just him. Hideo Kojima doesn't really do horror survival. Well, Resident Evil or Metal Gear Five is pretty horror survival-ish. Metal Gear Five is not horror survival. What is it? Metal Gear Survivor or something? Metal Gear Survive is the real one. Where you just poke zombies with a stick. Yeah, that, that's... He had nothing to do with that. Metal Gear 5... No, I've never played Metal Gear Solid. See, my problem with any of those games is that I am not about sneaking and stealth. Granted, I... I wasn't sneaky in that game. 
<laughs> Granted, I hear you don't have to do that in later oh. editions. Nope. Because I went and guns it, it, it becomes less of an importance. I went and guns blazing in five. I hear that's how you can start playing the game, but I'm Man. not good at it. Oh, did you eat that dog that just attacked you? I actually met him in casting. Was he a good dog? <laughs> no. I don't know how he got the job. He showed up drunk. <laughs> That's actually not the direction I was expecting you to take this. I really don't know how to get the job. <laughs> what, what was his name? <laughs> he didn't... He didn't really say. He kind of slurred it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I forgot to crank, didn't I? You forgot to crank that soldier boy. God dang it. Oh, here's another fun fact about No, 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 hold on, hold on. I got BRB. About the crank. I'm not gonna tell them, though. Well, I they're mean, you can in a fun... second. Nope, they're never gonna know <laughs> the fun fact. <laughs> but I want to know the fun facts. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny, when we first did this, I knew it was gonna be important that I brought that, and then we got then so... No, we just started digressing, like, super heavy. And I do like the fact that we're just doing that in this part. Hideo <laughs> Kojima. <laughs> That's not who does Resident Evil, though. I don't know who who does it then. Ayoki Sadamaya or something like that? Some other Japanese name? It is some other Japanese name. <laughs> Director of Resident Evil. Ayoki Sadamaya. That's definitely not his name. If it is, I'll give myself $200. Don't give yourself two hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, me. Here's two hundred bucks. The director is Paul Anderson. That's not. What? Oh, he's the director of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Those uh, those don't count. I like. I watched the first movie. Resident Evil. Shinji Mika Mai. I, I don't know how accurate that is. Oh, I don't know, speak Japanese. No, no, I mean, like, I don't know how accurate that is as, like, as, um, the person. He did the first Resident Evil game. Uh, I think he... Some, it was like the person came back to do Resident Evil 7. Oh, he did a lot of them. He did Resident Evil 4. That's a good one. He did. Ooh. I think he last. That's the last one he did, maybe. Oh, he actually voiced uh, Takahashi, the robot, in Fallout 4. No. Now, that doesn't actually mean anything to you, does it? <laughs> uh, I did play Resident Evil 4. Or sorry, no, uh, Fallout, Fallout 4, but I oh, don't, you did. I don't recall that. You don't know who? Well, I'm not surprised. Takahashi is a extremely minor character, and he only says one thing. He sells you noodles. Oh, uh, we're back. Oh, you can tell your fun fact now. All right, here's the fun fact about the crank. Um. They were, for this puzzle that's about to come up, Crank, um, they were designing it. I, I was part of this this committee, too. I, I, I can't believe they let me in. Anyway, they um, they said, all right, we need to come up with a puzzle. Um, how do we want to do this? Do we want... Uh, one guy was leaning towards a button. A button press. And the other guy said, like, eh, there's buttons in every game. Uh, we need something. And then another guy was like, how about... um." What a light switch. That's interesting. And we're like, no, that's stupid. And then one guy, he was like, one of my favorite songs is Cranked Out by Soul. Let's put a crank. And then we said, that's it. That's that's the one. So now, when we were pro when they were programming, I only know this because I heard of, heard from um, several people. When they were programming the uh, crank sequence, they played crank that non-stop until it was done. 
Now they spent like 45 hours trying to program this. So do you know how many times they listened to that song? Uh, no. No, I don't. A lot. They I... listened to that song a lot. Because they... Because you either crank that soldier boy or it cranks you. Watch me crank that soldier boy. Man, oh man. I... You know, when we first talked about it, I had yet to actually listen to Soldier Boy, and now having talked about it again, I have yet to actually just... listen to any of Soldier Boy's albums. You've never heard Crank That? No. Well, not not completely. Oh I'm sure God. I've heard bits and pieces of it. You've definitely heard this song. It was it was such a dumb song back in the day. Well, I mean, you can say that about just about anything. I'm gonna link you this song. Okay, I'll listen to it later. And uh, then when we when we resume like the next part, I'm gonna be like, uh oh. or I'll just you know very monotonely talk about the lyrics. And by talk about it, I mean I will I'll basically talk the lyrics. So you don't even get one. You don't even get my Soldier Boy reference. No, I totally name. do get the Soldier Boy reference because <laughs> I mean one. I, I know about the whole Crank That Soldier Boy because it's part of, it's like the song that he did and the Soldier dance Boy that he Tom. did. Also, you know the dance though. Also, I know about the fact that Soldier Boy was doing the whole console thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of hard not to know about Soldier Boy. It's kind of hard not to know about these things. And also, I kind of have to end the part here because this is a good time to cut it. Say, yes. say, say, it's it's done. It's done. It's a um, super, super digressed part, but you know what? Next, was... next time on Dra Resident Evil. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm wait. I'm waiting for. That. I'm waiting for the next time. Well, you have to like show clips. You you you, you, you built stuff. up the sand, you built up my expectations, and and now you you tumbled them down. You Wario, down. Wario, Wario, <laughs> wow! <laughs> he shows up. He, sh <laughs> he shows up somewhere in the somewhere in the next part. I'm Wario's... not gonna remember to edit that. I'm gonna put him in. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna remember to edit him in. I'm putting him in. I'm not even sure we're gonna know when to do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll add him in. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Uh, Epsilon hunters. Epsilon hunters. Epsilon hunters. <laughs>